Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne? Melbourne is known for its coffee and for being the greatest golf city on earth. But what if I told you there's a shop that combines the best of both worlds? Is this the world's best golf shop? We headed to Richmond to find out. Meet Johnny, the owner of Johnny's Golf Shop, the man who quit his job to open his dream store. We chatted to the legend to find out what possessed a man to quit his job, build a simulator and make some magic. For those not in the know, that's a Melbourne coffee special. All right, we are here with the world's best golf coffee shop owner, Johnny. I'm not sure if that's been verified, but I will take it. Thank you very much, Beef. Pleasure to have you, pleasure to have you here. Thanks, mate. Loving the sign. Um, Thank you're, you. You're actually mixing my two favorite things in the world, other than my family and children. And, Look, um, I also wanted to put Beef's family and children on that, but <laughs> I thought that would be a bit weird. So there are no false advertising claims. It's literally golf and coffee. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> what we do is we, we sell secondhand golf clubs. Yeah. Uh, we don't have anything new, but from our secondhand golf club perspective, you know, we try and make sure all the shafts are matching in the iron sets. They lengths are what they're meant to be. So mm, we yeah. also would like to give a little space for independent brands to yeah. um, stock, stock their stuff. From a smaller brand perspective, it'd be nice to give them a little bit of a platform and that's what we aim to do as well. Yeah, that's why your shop uh, definitely caught my eye. Oh, thank you. So, do you mind giving us a little tour? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have a look at some of the stuff. We swing over onto this side. We have got a little humble retail section. So as you can see, we've got some of our own caps of our own merch. I did not know these were your caps. And oh, I love this hat. Fantastic, so, thank you. We'll really choose, cool. choose, choose, choose a color. You can either have dusty pink or coal. We can hook you up, hook you up with that one, and then you can maybe win some match play stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got brushes, These three putt par. So it's a you've you've heard of Dimple and Divot. Yeah. Uh, over in the U.S., there's not an Australian person, so Vahan, three putt par, fresh brand as well. So these would be what, three hundred dollars? Uh, Forty-five. Forty. Okay, so they're a bit, they're a bit you, cheaper. You, than you, you can you can buy them. multiple. Okay. You can buy multiple of that. So this comes in a plane, or these are these are these are hand painted by him as they're well. Cool. Macam Golf. They're Beautiful couple out of Western Australia, Mount T. They've got a golf day on. We've also got some, these are some vintage thrift finds. I reckon you'd be, you've got the upper body mass. I couldn't pull this off. I got zero upper body mass, but you know. I'd be too sleeve, scared to spill uh, coffee on it. That is dope. Sleeveless Mizuno with the Eagle. Who, what era was this? All I can think of is Luke Donald, but this is way before. I him. think, I, it's surely gotta be late. Like late a, 90s, early 2000s. Uh, yeah, so Forgotten Golf Steven finds all this stuff for me. Yeah. Uh, so that's absolutely, that's absolutely fire. There's, uh, a lot of, okay. there's a lot of like, you know, foot joy spray jackets that are again, not my size. I mean, these are head covers that we made. These are just made down the road. That's all recycled material. Oh, these are um, so cool. So that's made out of old uh, sofa, sofa fabric samples. You know, yeah, like those little yeah, books yeah. that you flip through. We found a bag of those and just... Who does these? Uh, Cindy down the road, Cindy Kit Productions. Absolute steampunk vibes when you go in there. She repairs sewing machines too, but... So it's not a golf brand? No, it's no, it's not, like... a, not a golf brand. I just go, I just approach her, it's like, hey, can we make some head covers? And here oh, we are. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just shopping. So this is like thrift shopping, but like... No, no, absolutely. Steve, Steve, sort of Steve updates that every... Every every week he comes in and just drops some fresh stuff. We got the uh, Angus Gol and Grohl, Golf, Grace. Golf, yeah, Golf Daddy stuff up there. Shout out, Maddie. You gotta have a shout out, Maddie. Mate, and uh, can we talk about the logo real quick? Oh, obviously, I get Johnny's. that one. Yep, Johnny that's it. Golf. That's me, me in the flesh. Uh, what's this little guy's name? Uh, I would I would say if I were to be a golf and coffee cartoon character, that would probably be me. Good looking. Oh, top, good looking top. figure. Absolutely, yeah. you know, ob obviously the body shape as well. <laughs> Match, matches up, broad shoulders, are tiny, you that, are you, tiny legs. Are you that happy on the golf course? Because that's I'm expecting. Uh, look, I do. I my mental gymnastics game is absolutely through the roof. So all the time, I'm happy all the yeah. time on the golf course. Um, I'm gonna get some tips off you. Uh, <laughs> and you got the slice. We like you got the, the boys, slice. The boys, the boys. Up. Actually, uh, teach the boys. Oh, there, Sydney, you, so. there you go. There you go. Great socks. We have sold out of a lot of their stuff as well. Yeah. So those boys. You know, I mean, we're talking like from an Australian independent brand perspective. Like we're pumping. I saw a post by Golf Project up in the U.S. Is like, are we living in the best era? of golf clothing or independent brands? Yeah. And the answer is a resounding yes, sure. absolutely. Yeah, so, you know, we'd, we'd love to be able to keep growing and start keep bringing all these brands and giving them a space yeah. that this, this wall is going to have to be a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, but yeah. well, these are all like, again, watch this space, sure. watch this space. Yeah. Mate, uh, why golf and coffee? Um, I'd like to say that there was this sort of epiphany where I was like, oh, I saw a gap in the market. Everything that Entrepreneurship 101 teaches you. Truth is, I literally drove by this shop one day, I saw a for lease sign, the missus was in the car, I was like, 
you reckon I can sell golf clubs? Do you reckon I can put a coffee machine in there? And she's like, yeah, just go for it. And here we are, literally, I think we are almost one year to the week that I left my job. Golfer as well? Golf, mad, mad golfer. Whether okay. or not I'm good at it is a different story. That's interesting because your hat says you, you don't play golf. Well, no, so. so that's this is the number one hat in match play. It gives you competitive advantage. It lulls people into a false sense of security and they're like, oh, I don't play golf, that's easy. And then boom, you bust out the yeah. blades and they're like, oh man, something's up. All right, why don't we check out some of the retro stuff? Cool, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you saw you saw the number one ball in golf in the 1990s. I actually still use that you ball. You still use that? Yeah, I think we yeah, should probably yeah. upgrade you into at least some of the volley they, stuff. They do go further. They, oh, there you yeah. go, there you go. I mean, from a secondhand perspective, you know, there's some there's some more retro-ish stuff. I think I also play in the more modern in the more modern space. So if you're looking like 716 MBs, mm -hmm. G425 Maxes, those mm -hmm. are still quite modern. But then we've also got the MP30s. Mm -hmm. um, those are an absolute classic in terms of best. Yeah. I'm gonna go on record and say like one of the best feeling Mizunos ever. Yeah. Muscle cut, mm, probably is pretty much a blade. Let's, let's just be honest. Yeah, like that one. is tiny. I love those clubs. Uh, VR Pro combos that Nike set there. That's absolutely sick. The uh, Nike ones are becoming those, uh, those harder in. to find, right? Oh no, absolutely, absolutely. So I, I get, I get, I get quite a few. I get quite a few Nikes come in, and those mm -hmm. those ship off pretty quickly. Yep. Um, other than that, I do have a bag of. Well, this used to be a bag of Scotties, but I have increased it to other stuff. So we're not just focused on the retro stuff. I guess we try and also find some really hard to find things. Mm -hmm. So have you heard of Yamada? Of course. There we go, Yamada Emperor Milk Putter. That one's in a, that one's that one's in an RRI condition. Um, yeah, they had the copper version. Yeah. They have a whole they have a whole bunch of stuff, but that that's just in terms of something that comes off the face really well. But then really also big. this one, this is a really cool old Spalding oh. that's been a dip oil can and dip burned and all of that. Oh. So that's 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 a nice that's a nice one. Maybe get you rolling some putts for that. That of course. is nice. I never hit the sweet spot, so that's actually Oh god, no, really that's cool. the sweet spot's just a suggestion. Contrary yeah. to popular belief, it's get just a suggestion. That, that's it, simple. that's it. Toe, 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 toe hits only. Oh, that toe. is nice. Toe hits only. That's a that's a good one. I they, actually, don't, they don't make that shape that much anymore. No, do they, they don't. They don't. They don't. What would you call that? Like a mini blade? Mini, mini, mini mallet, mini, mallet blade it's, it's called something. a vibe. It's vibe? called a vibe. I think we just, we just leave it at a vibe. Vibe, okay. Yeah, a bit of vibe. Yeah. So yeah, we know we, that's 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 us. And obviously you got some other Nikes in here, but it's yeah. just a ever rotating, ever rotating collection. So every week I'll just put something else in for. Well, what Uru brand is this? Yururis. Yururis. So you heard of Mura? I, I use Mura's. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yururi. This guy used to roll with Mura. Roll. Okay. Left. Left. Went to go hand forge his own stuff. So we got some of the wedges. So these are actually new wedges. It's like an Adidas Puma beef. Pretty no beef though. Apparently it's okay. all it's all it's all oh, it's okay. all just okay. love. It's all just right, love. Right, it right. was time for it was time for him to go off and do his own thing. Yeah. So yeah, those are those you got Australian rippet grips on it as well. Yeah. That's a raw finish. It'll patina over time. Same with the ferrule. The ferrule is actually a raw finish ferrule as well. Can we hit a few? Oh, absolutely. Who, who hit this one? Let's let's blow let's blow that let's that blow that is. screen up. Oh, and then let's, let's go let's go slow motion. Oh god. I've got an idea for oh. you. <laughs> that should be on a shirt. Oh. <laughs> That's the image on a shirt. Johnny's golf shot. Actually, actually what let's let's do that. Let's do it. Let's done. Limited edition Johnny's golf shot. Shank cam. I think it'll be. Shank cam. I think we might even do a wall of shanks there yeah. as well and start putting them up. Opening night, you can sign them all. That's it. That's it in the flesh. Yes, Joe. Espresso Joe. martinis. Oh God, God. What else? What else? Shank, <laughs> shanks and dranks. <laughs> do that. Uh, should we get into it? Should we do a nearest to the pin comp Let's or do, something? We can do a nearest to the pin comp, but uh, before before we even do that, I got a little little gift for you. What do we have here? It's a Canon Advanced Spalding Two Iron. So I found this at a. I found this somewhere. Amazing. Have a look. Have a look at that. So they these were, you know, like, like how Cleveland make hybrid iron sets. Yeah. Yeah. So this was this in the late '80s to early '90s. Is this the original hybrid, right? I I would say it's probably one of the original hybrids. Remember driving but, irons? Driving oh, yeah, irons yeah, were a thing yeah, for a while. Absolutely. But this is a full. This is a full set. This was a full set of oh, hybrid wow. irons. So okay. they made it all the way down to pitching wedge. Wow. And this was at a time where technology for hybrids was just, let's just pull a bunch of metal in and just chuck a screw in there. I was going to ask the you about the screw. Yeah, yeah I, I don't believe there's any game improvement properties with that screw. See, let's, 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 see, let's, see, let's, see, let's see if you can do better than 0 0.5 carry and 6.3 rollout. Uh, we'll I, drive calm. I, I, think you might, I think you might be able to. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that is oh. stinger. <laughs> What? Oh, stinger machine. Go, dude. Put this in the bag. Put this. Put this in the bag tomorrow. Two ten. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I think. I, yeah. Source. 
Alright. How good do you that? want to do one? Oh, God, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Watch how bad this one will be. No pressure. You know, this is actually a momentous occasion. What is that? Never swung in front of a camera before. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. You, be, you can be my first. Okay. That's... Oh, how fat That's was gonna that? That's going to be straight, though. How fat was that? Run. There you go. Still, be still better than Joe's 0 0.5, so yeah. take it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, very unique. Johnny, thanks so much for having me at your oh, shop. Thanks for, thanks for coming down, man. It's been an absolute pleasure. Lovely to meet you. Golf, to meet you. coffee, retro. Sim, hit some shots, have some brilliant coffee. If you're in Hawthorne, Melbourne, be sure to check the great man out and uh, this beautiful spot. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Just one of the elite signs, my favorite sign. We've got some goodies. Johnny, what an absolute legend. Make sure you hit up this shop. I love guys trying to be creative in this industry. Um, yeah, great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode.